Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all. Hello and welcome back to our educational discussion about the newest issues ongoing in this current pandemic. Today, my group and I will be discussing about internet reachability among students in Unique LMFI for online classes. This research is conducted by five of us, which is Hatim Amma, Muhammad Faizmi Uzair, Mama Alfi, me, myself, Muhammad Nafis, and also Amirul Hakim. Now, we will move in on into the next section, which is the introduction of our research. First and foremost, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused all universities and all educational institutions to close, including UNICAL MFI, due to the hazardous and contagious virus COVID-19. Universities have to change their learning session from physical classes into online learning session and it is called Open and Distance Learning ODL. This new approach gave difficulties towards lecturers and also students to communicate with each other. And the main challenge for the students and for the lecturers is the internet reachability. Not all students live in a developed area which have good and strong internet connection and some of the students and lecturers live in rural areas which have bad and poor internet connection. Thus, this research is conducted to understand the problem stated using the data we have collected and to give some solutions for this matter. Next is the objective and scope for this research. The objective of this research is to provide analyzed data about how students in MFI are having issues regarding internet reachability to access to their respective online classes. And the scope for our research is we have collected a sample of 100 respondents that were randomly selected from UNIKL MFI for the survey. The selection was made based on the different districts and also status of their internet connections at their respective homes. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Amir Hakim Yanif and now we will proceed to the literature review. Firstly, Internet Connection in Malaysia. The internet was established in Malaysia in 1987 by the Malaysian Institute of Microelectronic Systems, MIMOS, through the RANCOM project. RANCOM stands for Rangkaian Computer Malaysia or Malaysia Computer Network. At first, the internet was used to connect several universities in Malaysia, but after that, the internet usage has been implemented in the working and service sector due to its effectiveness and cost saving factor. The Malaysian government recognized this economic advantage and wanted to increase the internet penetration by allocating the national resource to the expensive broadband infrastructure development. However, the urban areas have benefited more from this increase compared to the rural areas. The areas other than major cities like Kuala Lumpur, Johor and Penang still show low internet penetration. This can be proven from the analysis. In 2018, 17% of people from urban areas have access to internet connection, while in rural areas, only 30%. Next, internet connection in rural areas. This is one of the issues that has been brought up many times before. This is because people in the rural areas do not have good internet accessibility, especially the rural areas in East Malaysia. The government has tried to tackle this issue by implementing development program under the National Blue Ocean Strategy and BOSS. This initiative is done to provide the same service and facilities just like in the urban areas. Furthermore, Wanda Study Net whose vision to bridge the digital divide between rural and urban students has supported the government by providing the, the public school in Malaysia with high-speed internet access. However, the internet facilities in the rural areas are limited and only accessible in the school area. The internet speed is also very limited, which indicate bad internet performance. From one of the articles I have read, one of the respondents has read badly 
the internet provider. And lastly, students' perception of online learning during COVID-19 pandemic. Based on the research article I have read, most of the students were heavily involved in online learning, but they were not enthusiastic. The main concern for the students is the lack of internet connection and electricity at their home. They have to go out of their home or village and even climb hills in order to get the internet connection. Some students miss the class due to poor internet connectivity at their home or this is due to high traffic of people using the internet. Most students also feel the assignment given by the lecturer have weighed them down. This is because the amount of assignment given during online distance learning have increased compared to during physical class. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azmi Uzai, and I'm going to explain about the methodology used for this research. The methodology used for this research is survey form. The survey platform used is Google Form, as it is cost and time efficient, and it is also can easily distributed online. We have given out the survey to 110 students from UniCal MFI who are currently undergoing the semester through online classes. The survey consists of one questionnaire package, consisted of three sections of a total of five questions. These sections mentioned consist of open-ended question, closed-ended question, and also multiple choice question. Next, I'm going to explain about the data collection analysis. This chapter presents the findings of the study based on the objectives identified earlier in the report. A total of 110 valid questionnaires were obtained, indicating an acceptable response rate. The distribution of the respondent was among MFI, UNICAL MFI students who are currently facing online classes and have internet access at home. The home of every student is from different districts in Malaysia. The data presented is also is mostly in the form of pie chart and bar graph. The first data will be sources of internet. This is a multiple choice question. From the bar graph, we can see that the majority of the students, which is 74.5%, have Wi-Fi as their sources of internet. This is because of Wi-Fi can be accessed by multiple users at the same time and also can be the best choice of internet at home. This is followed by mobile data, which is 67.3% of respondents chose mobile data as their sources of internet. This is because of mobile data's variety internet plans with reasonable prices and also it can be accessed anywhere through mobile phones. However, 2.7% of respondents chose broadband as their sources of internet and the lowest is 1.8% of respondents choose cable as their sources of internet. Next, the second data is internet connection status. This is a close-ended question. From the pie chart, we can see that majority of the respondents, which is 55.5%, have average internet connection. This is followed by 13% of respondents have good internet connection, and the lowest is 14.5% have poor internet connection. The ratio of, of students having good and bad internet connection is almost 2 to 1. This clearly shows that not all students in UNICAL MFI have good internet connection. Hi, my name is Hatim. So for the data analysis of the importance of internet in life, the type of question used is Likert scale question and we divide it into three main daily usage of internet in our daily life which consists of work, study and leisure. For work, 83 of respondents which is the highest voted for very important while four respondents which is the lowest voted as unimportant. Next for study, 
101 of respondents, which is the highest, voted for very important, while two respondents, which is the lowest, voted as an unimportant. For leisure, 64 of respondents, which is the highest, voted for very important, while seven respondents, which is the lowest, voted as unimportant. So, by this data, we can conclude that internet is very important in terms of every usage in our daily life. Next is problems faced when accessing internet. The type of question used is open-ended question. We had categorized all of the respondents answer into four main categories, which are the first one is lagging a stable network. The second one is sudden connection loss. The third one is lectures and stable internet. And the fourth one is can't afford to subscribe internet. For the lagging and stable for the lagging and unstable network has the highest votes, which is 38.2%. Second one, the sudden connection loss has the second highest vote, which is 28.18%. And the third one is lecturers unstable connection has the second lowest votes, which is 22.73%. And the last one is couldn't afford internet subscription has the lowest votes, which is 10.9%. We can conclude that the lagging and unstable network is the main problem faced by the respondents when accessing internet. Next, for the data of preference between online and physical classes. So the type of question used is closed ended question. The respondent had to choose between physical class or online, online classes. So 74% of the respondents, which is the majority, voted for physical class, while only 25.5% of respondents, which is the minority, voted for online class. So we can conclude that majority of the respondents are comfortable with physical class rather than virtual online class. That's all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Muhammad Alfi bin Sofiuddin and now I will present about conclusion and recommendation. Okay, first for the conclusion, based on data that has been presented by my friends Muhammad Faizmir and Hatim Amma, internet is used by MFA students not only to study, but they also use it to do work and fill their free time. So, having a good internet connection is very important for MFI student because since COVID-19 hit Malaysia, the Ministry of Higher Education has ordered that all study sessions held at university throughout Malaysia including an unique KL MFI be done online. Okay. okay, it can be said that almost all MFI students face difficulties even once during online classes which can cause them to miss out on lessons so as expected most of them prefer to do uh, physical classes rather rather than online classes due to the many difficulties that occur during learning session okay the next one is recommendations okay the first one is UniKL MFI must work with telecommunication companies and provide SIM cards with free data to help underprivileged students to attend online classes. Okay. UniKL MFI can work with Cellcom, which is a telecommunication company that has the widest internet coverage in Malaysia by providing SIM cards with unlimited data so that students can attend online classes and uh, help them to complete their assignment that given by their lecturer. Okay. The second one is UNIKL MFI need to provide dormitories to students whose home do not have good internet coverage. As we know, MFI students come from various states and districts in Malaysia. Not all places in Malaysia have a stable network, so giving them a place to stay in the hostel is a reasonable move as the MFI hostel is located 
close to the main campus. Of course, the internet connection in that place is very good. Okay, the last one is UniKL MFI lecturer are encouraged to record video during the learning process so that students who face internet connection problems are not left behind in lesson. Okay, inside Microsoft Teams, there are there is a button to make a recording. It is recommended for the lecturer to click on the button before starting the teaching session. This can not only help students who have unstable internet problems, but also help students to do some revision for subject that they could not understand well by replaying the recording. Okay, that's all. I hope you guys enjoy the presentation and get something from it. Thank you.